learning outcomes. On the successful completion of this module, you shall be able to understand the concept of strategic change, the factors to be considered while introducing change, various ways through which an organization can introduce change, the challenges faced during execution of change in the organization, various factors which contribute towards the failure of change in management. Introduction Change is an inevitable aspect of an organization's life. The trends of organizational change are increasing in the frequency, pace, complexity and turbulence. However, the ethos of organizational change is universal for all the organizations. That is, to make them more efficient, effective and responsive to the environmental changes. Every organization faces various changes during its lifetime. These changes might be related to internal environment or the external environment. Strategic changes are the one having the maximum impact on the organization affecting everyone from the top to the bottom of the organization. In the words of Hofer and Schendel, strategic change is defined as changes in the content of a firm's strategy as defined by its scope, resource deployments, competitive advantages and synergy. But in simple words, strategic change is a way of altering the vision and objectives of an organization in order to attain success. There is no magical potion helping an organization to do the same and it does not always result in success. An organization might fail at two levels, either in implementing the plan correctly or in conveying the change among the workforce of the organization. The greatness and usefulness of an organizational change is worthless if the people of the organization are unable to understand it. The managers responsible for introducing change in an organization have to take into consideration various issues that is the culture and behavior of the workforce as it is difficult to change something that people are used to. The context compatibility between the change to be introduced and the organization as often successful solutions of other situations are tested in the current one and the last one is that change is Im most importantly about changing the attitudes of the people working for the organization. An organization can implement change successfully if it succeeds in changing the outlook of its employee. Change factor. Change is something that takes time to become a reality. There are various factors that are to be considered while introducing a change in any organization. The two most important factors that should be kept in mind while introducing something new in an organization 
are time and scope. For the managers of an organization, it becomes critical to understand and feel these factors in order to efficiently understand the need of change in the organization. Time. This is very important for an organization to understand the right time for the introduction of a particular change. An organization needs to act faster in the times of crisis than the time it takes to adapt to developments that occur from time to time. Scope. Here, the managers of the organization need to consider the degree of change they are willing to apply within the organization. Also, it becomes important to clarify whether a particular change is for the whole organization or only for a specific and particular part of it. Apart from considering the time and scope of the organizational change, its capability and capacity should also be considered. Capability deals with the capability of the individuals, managerial and organization abilities that are necessary to bring about a certain change. Capacity on the other hand consists of resources that is cash, time and people available for the change. These factors are to be considered before the change is being made. Choosing change strategies. Introducing an organizational change is a challenge as it leads to the alteration of the present things. Change is feared because of the following reasons. Disturbance of status quo, threat to people's interest in their respective jobs and an altercation of the established way of doing things. If proper change strategies are introduced, the change can bring success to the organization. Managers underestimate both the way people react to organizational change and the way that themselves can positively influence specific individuals and groups while introducing a change. The various ways to which an organization can successfully introduce changes are one education and communication one of the most common and effective way of introducing an organizational change is educating the people beforehand the communication of change and ideas lets people understand the need and the logic of a change. This education process can involve one-to-one -one discussions, presentation to the groups, etc. This program of education and communication is ideal for the situation where resistance to change is based on inadequate or inaccurate information. Many managers overlook the fact that the implementation of such a program requires the existence of a good relationship between the initiators of the change 
and the resistors of the change else the resistors will not believe and trust the initiators this process requires a lot of time and effort especially if a large number of people are involved participation and involvement resistance to a change can be stalled if the initiators of the change are successful in involving the potential resistors in some aspects of the designing and implementation phase of the change managers at large have positive feeling about the introduction of change through participation generally participation not only leads to compliance but also to commitment however the drawback of the participation process is that it can lead to a poor solution if the process is not effectively managed when the change has to be implemented immediately involvement of too many people can increase the time needed for the introduction of change facilitation and support the process of facilitation and support is another effective way of introducing organizational change this process of support might require providing training in acquiring new skills giving the employees time off after a demanding period or simply listening to their problems and providing them emotional support facilitation and resistance becomes important when the reason for resistance to change are fear and anxiety the limitation of this approach is that in spite of being time consuming and expensive it can fail using supportive methods become redundant when time money and patience are unavailable negotiation and agreement management can offer incentives to active or potential resistors to deal with the resistance negotiation becomes important when it is clear that someone will lose as a result of change and the person's power to resist is significant thus negotiated agreements are relatively easier ways of avoiding any major resistance to change the drawback of this method is that it might become expensive at times and once a manager makes it clear that he is open to negotiation to avoid resistance to change he is opening himself up for the possibility of blackmail manipulation and cooptation to successfully introduce change the organization could resort to influencing others manipulation here means selective use of information and conscious structuring of events cooptation is the most common form of manipulation it involves giving an individual a desirable role in the design or implementation of change when talking about groups cooptation means giving the leader or the most respected person of the group a key role in the design or the implementation of the change 
However, it is different from participation in the sense that unlike participation, here the initiators do not want the advice of the co-opted. Instead, they just want his or her endorsement. Though during certain situations, co-optation is a relatively easy and inexpensive way of gaining individual and group support. It has its own drawbacks. The major one being that if people think that they are being tricked into non-resistance, being lied to or being treated unequally, then they may react very negatively to the change. Moreover, co-optation might take a bad turn if those who are being co-opted use their ability to influence the design and the implementation of change in the way that it is not best suited for the interests of the organization. People do manipulate others when all other tactics fail. There isn't enough time to educate, involve and support people. Explicit and implicit coercion. The organization might also have to deal coercively with resistance. In this case, by explicitly or implicitly threatening the people working in the organization, they are forced to accept a change. Like manipulation, coercion too is a risky method of introducing change as people strongly resent forced change. However, coercion becomes the only option of organization when it knows that the change will not be popular no matter how it is introduced. Successful implementation of organizational change requires skillful application of a number of above mentioned approaches in different combinations. The organization should keep in mind that the approaches should be employed with a sensitivity to their strengths and drawbacks and by appraising the situation realistically. The organization often make a mistake by using only one of the approach or using a limited set of approaches. Another most common mistake on the part of the organization is approaching the change in a disjointed and incremental way which is not the part of a clearly devised strategy. Challenges of strategy execution Successfully executing a particular strategy is a challenging task. The organizations are often unsuccessful in realizing the true potential of their strategies because of the inadequacies in planning and implementation. The five primary reasons which make successful strategy execution a difficult task are 1. Shareholder pressure Relentless pressure from shareholders for increase in profitability requires an organization to redefine its strategies frequently. This definition has to be in sync with the changing needs and priorities of the customers to generate continuous profits. This calls for successful execution of strategies with, within a short time period. 
complexity of organization modern day organizations are increasingly becoming complex multiple geographical functional and organizational boundaries are being crossed to perform essential activities for creation of products and services therefore every strategic change is expected to affect people structures processes suppliers and technologies that are working within and across these boundaries thus strategic change process is becoming complex with increased possibility of failure due to oversight management challenge management of organizations are facing a difficult challenge of successfully executing change programs along with meeting the demands of managing today's business performance because of continuous pressure from shareholders or stakeholders for maintaining a high performance management can't afford dedicating its time and effort to an exclusive demand set balancing today's performance for creation of a better organization for tomorrow becomes difficult when an organization is passing through the transition phase of a new strategy low involvement level during early stages of strategy execution an organization encounters the problem of low levels of involvement of a large number of managers managers see the early stages of strategic execution with suspicion and delaying real action as they require the curtailing of the involvement of a large number of people to maintain secrecy at initial levels but this involvement is required for obtaining the commitment of managers towards the successful implementation of strategic change difficulty in securing resources another challenge faced by the organization in executing a strategy is the difficulty in securing the resources for such execution at times the resources are limited and thus it becomes difficult to allocate them for different programs managers compete fiercely when resources are limited let us now look at the failures of change in management introduction of an organizational change is significant for the success of the organization but management literature talks about various failures in the formulation and implementation of strategies involving organizational change and development an organization goes through constant evolution because of changes introduced in it from time to time but still there are times when introduction of change becomes a difficult task for an organization there are various internal and external factors which contribute towards the failure of change in the management organizational change is a relatively big task and requires deep commitment from each and every individual associated with it even a minute ignorance on some part could lead to the failure of the organizational change the main reasons which largely contribute towards the failure of a change management strategy are discussed 
below. One, leadership failure. Management literature talks about various and different forms of leadership styles. The leadership styles and theories vary as per different approaches and models. There is no one best way of leadership fitting all organizations and all organizational situations. During the change introduction stage, the leaders have to harness the skill and capabilities of those working in the organization to easily adapt to different and difficult situations. The failure of the leadership to adapt to the changing environment results in the failure of the change management strategies. Non-application of cultural issues. Culture is a complex term having various and diverse definitions. Even organizational culture has different definitions and dimensions based on a wide range of perspectives. It becomes crucial to emphasize and assess the role and influence of organizational culture while introducing a change in the organization. An understanding of the culture of the organization helps the managers to assess well in advance where they are likely to meet resistance to change because of the mismatch between the organizational culture and the change management strategy. The organization while introducing the change has to decide on these four points while aligning organizational culture with the change strategy. One, ignoring the organizational culture altogether. Two, managing the change around the organizational culture. Three, changing the organizational culture to fit the new strategy and lastly changing the new strategy to fit the organizational culture. Management failure to adapt to changes. Failure on the part of the management to look into the concerns of the people is a considerable factor affecting the success of change management. Organizations are composed of diverse elements like structure, strategy, technology and culture where people are hired, trained and developed, assigned jobs, their performances appraised and remuneration paid. People working in the organizations resist change as they perceive change as a diversion from their established and familiar working environment threatening their interests. Also, there is a fear of redistribution of power and resources. Thus, the management of the organization needs to appreciate the issues of the people working in the organization so as to enhance their capacity to quickly adapt to external environmental changes. Summary Change is an inevitable aspect of an organization's life. Change takes time to become a reality. Introducing an organizational change is a challenge. Successfully executing 
a particular strategy is a challenging task. Organizational change is a relatively big task and requires deep commitment from everyone associated with it.